Hobie Outdoors has teamed up with Badger Sportsman Magazine. For past issues or subscription information, check them out, badgersportsman.com. Hey guys, welcome back to OB Outdoors. Uh, today we're going to be doing an info segment on perching and uh, setting up the perching rods and reels and um, tying up a perching rig that I use. All right. Now, um, each year before the open water season hits, I like to run to uh, Walmart or the Man's Mall, aka Fleet Farm, and pick up a couple cheap combos that I know that when I break them, I'm not going to care. Each year I end up breaking at least one, so um, I like to pick up something cheap. But the only uh, thing I need is something with a stiff backbone, all right, and a fast tip. Now these are a couple Shakespeare's, all right, and I got them for $18.99 a piece at the Man's Mall, all right. So um, not uh, not too shabby on that. We're gonna be stringing these up with six-pound Test Bionic line. Got this on clearance, all right. Um, it's got enough to string up both the rods here. So right now I'm just over 40 bucks for two combos, all right. So. Um, I'm going to get to stringing these up and uh, we're going to get to tying these rigs. Get to tying these rigs. All right, these are all the components here that uh, you'll need just for the rig that I use. All right, it's important to note these are the gold long shank hooks. Um, got two way swivels, got some walking slip weights. These are the quarter ounce, might have to go a little bit higher depending on current um, in the river. And then four pound test mono. So I'm going to get this all ripped apart and we'll tie the first one up. All right, so what we're going to do here, uh, we're going to take our strand. All right, we're going to cut off about a foot, maybe a little bit more, 13, 14 inches, and always trim it up. All right, what we're going to do is we're just going to tie a polymer knot on this. Take the swivel here, and do the same. Same with the polymer knot. All right, so we got that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our walking weight here, and we're gonna pop it through. So this is facing, so this angle right here, this angle is facing the rod tip, and this is facing our lure. All right, set that there. We're just gonna take this, We got ourselves the perch rig. All right, very simple, very easy, very cheap rig here. Um, one important reason why I use a longer shaft hook here and a longer shank here is because if you're not paying attention to your rod tip and you get that first bite and that fish engulfs that hook, you're gonna have you're gonna want this longer shaft to work with and to grab with your pliers or forceps or whatever you're using uh, to get it out easily without uh, you know injuring the fish. If you're using a shorter shank um, you're not really going to be able to uh, um, you know grab that as easy without uh, nicking your line and uh, that's another important point if you do get um, nicks in this line here it is really thin very uh, uh, flimsy line you can see there's just tiny little kinks already in there but if you get any nicks um, that you can feel and running your f fingers down the line here definitely going to want to throw on a different uh, leader and it's easy enough to do especially when you're all tied up and whatnot so um, I'm going to tie up one more and uh, that's going to be it for us. All right guys well very easy very cheap very simple um, perch rig and combo set up here I mean less than 45 bucks and you know I've got two decent combos and I'm all about using all the top line equipment and you know quality stuff, but when it comes down to uh, perching and stuff like that, I'm very abusive on my <laughs> perch combos. So uh, less than 45 bucks, and you know that equals out to you know just over 20 bucks a combo. I mean you can't go wrong. So um, 
One thing I haven't plugged yet is the Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash OB Outdoors. Uh, it's a pretty cool um, setup there. Uh, I can upload different articles that I've written, others have written, um, cool information that I found on the web. Uh, and the best thing is I can upload real time pictures and um, you know, reports and spot locations, you know, right from my phone while I'm out fishing. So it's not like, um, you know, you have to wait a few days or a week or what have you to see, you know, what's biting and what I've been able to get my hands on to. Um, I'll be able to upload that, you know, right while I'm fishing. So you guys can follow that. And uh, the more likes I get on the page, uh, the more um, options Facebook gives me. So if you guys can jump on there and like that, I'd appreciate that. Um, but uh, as far as this info segment's concerned, uh, that's going to do it for me. So uh, until next time, guys, tight lines and stay dry.